हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल थैंक यू इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम 12.9 फ्रॉम चैप्टर 12 पॉजिटिव डिस्प्लेसमेंट मशीन्स अप्लाइड थर्मोडायनेमिक्स बाय टीडीएस टॉप एंड मिकोंगी द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम इज अ टू स्टेज एयर कंप्रेसर कंसिस्ट ऑफ थ्री सिलेंडर्स हैविंग द सेम बोर and stroke the delivery pressure is 7 bar and the free delivery is 4.2 cubic meter per minute air is drawn in at 1.013 bar 15 degree c and intercooler cools the air to 38 degree centigrade the index of compression is 1.3 for all three cylinders neglecting clearance calculate the intermediate pressure second the power required and the isothermal efficiency so first of all we will write the given data we have given that this is two stage air compressor second we have bore and stroke they are equal for all cylinders so b is equal to s for all cylinders for all three cylinders third we have delivery pressure which is p2 and that is 7 bar free air delivery is 4.2 cubic meter per minute pressure p1 is 1.013 bar that is the intake pressure and the intake temperature t1 is 15 degree centigrade which is 288 kelvin also the intercooler cools the air to temperature ti that is the intermediate temperature are also represented by t2 and it is equal to 38 degree c which is further equal to 311 kelvin clearance volume is 0 vc is equal to 0 while the index of compression is 1.3 it is n is equal to 1.3 based on this data we have to find three things which are required in this pro problem first we have to find the intermediate pressure ti second we have to find the power required to the, the to the to drive the compressor that is actually the indicated power represented by ip similarly third we have to find the isothermal efficiency first we are going to find the intermediate pressure suppose we have as as it is given in the problem that this is two stage compressor with three cylinders which are equal in dimension that b is equal to c for b is equal to s for all cylinders so let consider them that 
two cylinders are in parallel and one cylinder is in series with these two cylinders so in that case the intermediate pressure can be found from the mass flow rate induced equal to mass flow rate induced to the second stage this is for first stage i1 this is the mass flow rate induced to the second stage so for this case from ideal gas equation we have the expression that is p1 v1 or r t1 also for this side we have pi which is the intermediate pressure v2 or r t2 r t i so rearranging this equation we get that intermediate pressure is equal to r will cancel from here pi will become p1 or into v1 or v2 into t2 by t1 so this expression becomes pi is equal to p1 into v1 by v2 into t2 by t1 in this case we have the information pi is equal to p1 is 1.013 bar v1 is two times of the volume of the second stage so we can write it like this 2 v2 over v2 into t2 is 311 kelvin and t1 is 288 kelvin so simplifying this we get that intermediate pressure is equal to 2.19 bar second we have to find the power required for the compressor that is the indicated power so for that we have the expression for indicated power which is equal to n over n minus 1 m dot r t l minus t1 for the first stage plus for the second stage th minus t2 rti so this is suppose expression a n is given we will find mass flow rate this is unknown temperature tl this is the temperature after low pressure stage and this is the temperature after high pressure stage so these three things are unknown first we are going to find these three missing terms after that we will put the values and then finally we will find the indicated power so let first find the mass flow rate so mass flow rate is given by e1 v dot by r t1 putting the values it is 1.013 to the power 5 v dot is 
4.2 cubic meter per minute and R is 287 while T1 is 288 kilo. So simplifying this we get 5.15 over 60 converting it into kilogram per second. So it comes out 0 0.086 kilogram per second. Also to find temperature TL for that we have the expression that is temperature at the end of low pressure stage that is equal to T1 into Ti by P1 intermediate pressure over intake pressure over N minus 1 by N. So putting the values T1 is 288, Pi is 2.19 bar is calculated, T1 is 1.013 bar. So simplifying this we get the value 1.3 minus 1 over 1.3. So simplifying this we get the value that is 344 kelvin. Also third we have to find the value of Th that is the temperature after high pressure stage. So Th can be found from the expression that is Th is equal to Ti into P2 by Pi power n minus 1 by n. Ti is 311 k1, P2 is 7 bar while Pi is 2.19 bar. 1.3 minus 1 over 1.3. Simplifying this, we get 406.7 kelvin. So all three missing values are found. Now putting these values in expression A, expression A will become equal to indicated power is equal to 1.3 over 1.3 minus 1 m dot is 0 0.086 r is the value of r is 287 kilo 287 joule per kilogram per kilo for the air also tl is 344 minus T1 is 288 plus TH is 406.7 while TI is the intermediate temperature which is 311. So simplifying this we get the value of indicated power which is 16.2 kilowatt. So this is the power required to drive the compressor which was needed in part 2. Now in part 3 we have, we have to find the isothermal efficiency. For isothermal efficiency we have the expression that is isothermal efficiency is equal to isothermal power over indicated power. Let's suppose this is expression B. We know the value of indicated power. First we have to find the value of isothermal power. Isothermal power can be found from the expression m dot r t1 natural log of p2 by t1. So putting the values 
m dot is 0 0.086 r is 287 joule per kilogram per kilo one t1 is 288 kilo one natural log of 7 by 1.013 so simplifying this we get the value of isothermal power and it comes out 13.7 kilowatt now putting the values of isothermal power and indicated power in expression V expression B will become isothermal efficiency is equal to 13.7 over indicated power is 16.2 kilowatt so simplifying this we get the value of isothermal efficiency which comes out 84.5 percent so isothermal efficiency is 84.5 percent for this compressor so this is the solution of problem 12.9